Dennis Pova is in. He's the GOP candidate for the 119th Assembly District. The seat currently held by Anthony Brindisi. Of course, he is busy running for uh, another position. Uh, and here you are as the Republican and now conservative candidate. Good morning. Good morning. So uh, the little controversy, I would say, which is nothing compared to what we're talking about in the 118th, is the fact that the Democrat received the conservative uh, uh, endorsement locally. Um, the state overrode that and said, uh, no, uh, we're not going to give that endorsement to a Democrat. And you've been endorsed by the state conservative party. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. So what uh, on what issues? Uh, where do you stand? What inspired them to say, hey, we're 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 going with Bova here? Well, you know, I think a lot of it was where I stand fiscally. I'm very fiscal conservative. I share more of the conservative values, and typically a Republican does get the conservative endorsement if they if the conservatives aren't running anybody. Sure. So I think yeah. they read through my values, and when they met with me, they liked what I had to say, and they decided uh, unanimously that I was to be holding that line. Uh, you are facing uh, two Democrats um, That's correct. In, the, uh, in the November election. Uh, tell us how you will be different um, uh, than uh, Mr. Salatino and Ms. Uh, Buttonshaw. How will you be different? You know, I... I think that I'm bringing a different perspective to the table. I've never been involved in politics in any way, shape, or form. I'm new to this, as you know. We've discussed this. Yep. I think I'm bringing a whole new, fresh look. They've been in different realms of politics uh, one way or another. I haven't. What I'm doing and what we'd like to do once we had achieve the assembly seat is give the power back to the people. You know, a lot of people ask me, where do you stand on such and such? And, I, and of course, I have an opinion. We all have opinions. Yeah, yeah. But the important opinion is, where do you stand? I, I work for you. Everybody asks me, what's it like running you, you know, your first time, big seat? I tell everybody, this is the longest and hardest job interview I've ever had. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> think about that. I guess we don't, we don't think about it that way. Uh, tell me, uh, give your assessment on Anthony Brindisi and the job he has done as Assemblyman in the district that you're running for. I think, you know, like anything else, I think Anthony has done a lot of great things. And I think he's made some decisions that people may have not been as happy with. But that's politics. Yeah. You know, you're never going to make everybody happy. You do your best to listen to the people and do your best to, to lobby for them and get them what they need for your district. Uh, do you think one of the mistakes is the, uh, is the hospital downtown? I'll never say new infrastructure is a mistake, Bill. Never. It will never happen. You'll never hear that come out of my mouth. I think anything new we can bring to our community, we should do it. I think the placement is not the best. I just think um, there's other options that would be a little bit better, maybe save some more money. Uh, you are in the uh, health care industry. Uh, yes, I am. I and, have been for 12 years, yeah. And the need for a, for a new hospital here, you feel, exists? I think it's great if we consolidate services. Yeah. I do. I think having one building where everybody can be serviced and a new building at that is an amazing idea. Yeah. You know, what, what you're not going to hear out there is when we cross-cover services, say uh, ambulance picks somebody up, takes them to St. Luke's, they have an air infection or something mm -hmm. bad with the yep. air. Well, an yep. ENT might not be on service there. Saying, you know, the ambulance company didn't know that. So now they've got to put them back in the ambulance, bring them all the way over to, to St. Elizabeth's. Well, we're billing for all those services. Right, right. So I think one central location is a great idea, and I think it's a great marketing tool. Not to mention, they said that uh, uh, if they came into the ER to go into uh, to uh, follow through on an operation or to go into surgery, um, not everybody could fit in the elevator. They had to move from floor to floor. It's been right. really quite uh, right, quite crazy. Well, yeah. The, the thing is, we have grown. Healthcare has grown. We offer more services than we ever have. We offer different surgical suites, you know, from EP labs and general surgery, CTOR, and I think a better floor structure is definitely going to work. Yeah. Finally, um, I would ask you on the hospital, because it yes. seems to be one of the key issues where you somewhat differ with uh, with Anthony Brindisi. Um, if, uh, if, if the legislation reads it has to go basically in downtown Utica, and if the governor's office is saying if you want the money, it's downtown Utica. Um, do you still do you say okay? Well, I don't agree with that location, but I support it. Where where would you stand there? Oh, absolutely. I you know I, I so don't. If, agree it, if it has to, if go, it in has to go in downtown Utica, then that's listen, where it should go. I will never ever ever 
go against something that's going to better our community. I might not like the place it is or the way yeah, it was yeah. presented, but that's like praying the pilot crashes the plane just to be right. And no, I'm not going to do that. It's all about the community and doing what's in the best interest of the community. So if it meant no hospital, we're better off getting it where it is, uh, where they're planning. Uh, obviously, because right. the area needs that new infrastructure. Right, absolutely. Yep. Uh, any other big issues that uh, that you think you differ with uh, Anthony Brindisi? Different with who, Anthony? Yeah, yeah. You know, um, the abortion issue, I think he and I are different on, but I'm a conservative, so that's to be expected. Yeah. I think his take on uh, abortion is that he is against abortion, but doesn't feel government should impose on a, on a female's right. Right. So uh, how do you feel about that position? Well, you know, I'm... I'm against abortion. You know, it's just one of my core values. But at the end of the day, I, I, I'm 100% against it, Bill. But at the end of the day, it's about what the people and my constituents want. Got it. All right. Uh, Dennis Bova, we appreciate it. And we'll do this again, I'm sure, several times before we get to November. Yes. And you are, now on, uh, you are now on the conservative line and the Republican line. So uh, That's correct. Uh, congratulations on that. Uh, I'm sorry? Uh, congratulations. Thank you it's so tough much, to hear in here, folks. It's, <laughs> I know it seems awkward, but the place is jam-packed. But, Dennis, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. We'll break.